Hi Dragons, my name is Maria and I'm looking for an investment of £50,000 in return for 20% of my business. I am a proud chocoholic, but to be really honest, over the last few years, I've been a little bit bored of what's available on the market. It just seems to be the same flavours redone. Salted caramel, chocolate orange and chocolate mint. I myself have been eating crisps and chocolate since I was a young girl. After some online research, I found that there was nothing available, so I created the Bar of Crisps. The Bar of Crisps is a milk chocolate bar stuffed with crisps, available in three flavours, ready salted, salt and vinegar and cheese and onion. The cheese and onion does spark controversy, but it just means that people are talking about the product. To date, I have sold just over 8,000 bars since launching in January 22. It is stocked in independent stockists up and down the UK, but I also think it has maybe even more potential when it comes to hospitality, the travel industry and the gifting market. I'm going to hand you out some samples. Oh, and thank I you for that. I was going to say, hurry up, we want the samples. Your <laughs> Let's go. Bloody brilliant. <laughs> it's so different, isn't it? Oh, it's cracking. It's such a Moorish combination. Tara Mother has been doing this for years. Do you know what? I was terrified before you came in because I thought you were going to be chocolate flavoured crisps. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah. I'm going for all. I saw the chocolate and I thought, oh no, it's chocolate flavoured crisps. <laughs> it's going to be a disaster. No, I'm not that bonkers. <laughs> it's anything but a disaster. I'm loving it. Oh, good. Right, so walk me through the figures so I can get an understanding. So from 2021, um, turnover was um, 22,000 and a net of four and a half thousand. Mm -hmm. In 2022, turnover was 19 and a net of minus 480 pounds. And year ending 23, turnover was just under 40K and a net of 1,500. Who cares? Who <laughs> <laughs> cares about these numbers? This is about the future of chocolate, oh, not the past. Yeah, I agree. I, agree. <laughs> I, I don't know what you've done. I have yeah. never <laughs> seen Mr Jones like this. <laughs> it won't be, but just pause a minute. I've got... got you've you got to try this. You've got the runs. <laughs> try that. How weird is that? That's cheese and onion. I've never seen him like it. I don't know what you've done, Maria. <laughs> I've got more saying. <laughs> Sorry. Um, no, okay. Carry on. So the bars you're eating today have been manufactured in the UK, but I am changing manufacturer just because I need to get the price point lower. Currently, it, yep. it costs one pound eighty-five to make, yep. and it retails at four ninety-nine. But the new manufacturer mm -hmm. will be making them for one pound seventeen. Oh, it's quite a difference then. Yeah. So what do you... Th are you going to just take the extra margin or are you going to pass that on to the customer? I want to pass it on to the customer because I believe that the price point is too high where it is. Honestly, I've actually gone quite... A I've got, like, chocolate sweats. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think you've eaten it in record time. I know. I, I don't really get it. I don't really get it. Yeah, you, you wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really get... I, I mean, the chocolate was OK. Um, putting the crisps in there was slightly weird. It's not... I mean, it's not this. It's you, not. You are literally so boring. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, when people have a reaction like that, after they persevere... Yeah. Persevere? <laughs> they, they, they persevere. If I persevere, they, I turn into that. They fall in love with it and they but, become addicted. So what, he's <laughs> going to he, throw he, up. He needs to be addicted. <laughs> Maria, I'm the most important person in the room right now because I'm the one that loves it. Thank you. Generally. Appreciate it. I'm, I'm, I couldn't disagree more, Stephen, because... Weirdly, I get it. It's like when you have chocolate-covered pretzels. But you can have two experiences. You can have the crisp experience and then the chocolate experience. Oh, no, but they're no, better no, together. No, you are missing the point. I'm joining Peter. They're, they're better what, what together. They're better together. They're better I'm together. with you, Maria. Absolutely. It's the nation's two favourite snacks. She's right. They're together. Yeah, it's like having a cheese toasty and eating the cheese first. <laughs> no. Maria, yeah, ignore him, please. <laughs> Honestly, you better get four investment offers or I'm going to really interrogate some people in this room. The, ups, the, the thing you have got in this business is you, you're standing out of the crowd. There'll be some people who will feel strongly against it and think it's for weirdos, and then you'll see other people who'll be so passionate for it, and that division itself, that noise, will drive sales. Yeah. So you do have a business for you. The problem I have as an investor is I sit on the other side of the, that pole where I think it's for weirdos. So I wish you the very, very best. Well done on what you've done, but I'm going to say that I'm out. Maria. I'm not in the chocolate business. What would happen if you actually did put it into little squares with its own little wrapping in, in a little... 
would that look more premium? But I'm not sure if the product itself is classed as a premium product. Like, it's more of a snack. It's your business. It's your baby. Maybe it's worth considering. You might find that you'll get a better price for it. Unfortunately, today, it's not investable for me, and I'm out. I actually think Tuca was onto something. I think he's absolutely right that you do need to look at the way it's, it's pa packaged. Yeah. I know you, you don't see it as a premium product, but I do see it as a novelty gifting product. Yeah. Just think about how can we maximise margin, yeah. you know, and make it look very, very different. Keep doing what you're doing thank you. and you'll make yourself some money, but I'm afraid it's not an investment, so I'm out. All right, thank you. My big concern is just your pricing. Unless you can come up with a format for the product where it's not being compared to buying a bar of chocolate and a packet of yeah. crisps and you can put them in together, it's not going to work. So thank you for the offer to invest in your business, but I'm going to say I'm out. Thank you, sir. I know it's an indulgent treat and I know you shouldn't do it, but there are some days that you just go, do you know what? I'm going to have a bar of chocolate and a packet of crisps and watch something on TV. Yeah. It was only a matter of time that somebody comes out with it and you've come out with it. It's really, really niche, though. This is the, the downside to your product. There's no doubt that I think people will buy it, but I think it's a considered purchase because of its price point, and I don't think that you're going to find that they're going to buy it and then when they run out, they're going to buy it again and buy it again, like you do with a packet of crisps or a bar of chocolate. After all that, you're going out? Yeah, because I would still buy it. It's just not an investment. So for that reason, I'm out. Thank really you. sadly. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you so Thank much, Maria. Cheers. Thanks, Thanks. Maria. I did really think that Peter might have invested, but they gave me some incredible advice that's invaluable. So I'll definitely be going away and thinking about what they've said. Do you actually think that tastes good? Yes, yeah. genuinely like chocolate? that. Yeah. Yeah. Genuinely, genuinely, genuinely like that. I'm going to eat Ch that. Where's my chocolate? I took Peter's away because he was going to make himself sick. You've eaten half the pack of each. That's true. In five minutes. Okay. I do. Can, I, can we have a break? I do feel a bit quizzy. <laughs> <laughs>